Yo, check this shit out. You guys have been up here a bunch of times with me. Usually you can see the lake and that big like mountain range in the back and whatnot. This is the smoke. These skies are just smoked right out. And the sun looks like planet Nibiru coming at us. Just a red fireball up in the sky behind us. So weird. Anyway. I, yo, what up? I was just out cruising. This is after the Coney Dogs. Uh, I was needing some water for my water cooler, a new jug, and also some Tums. I needed Tums just in case, you know, you get a little kickback sometimes, but uh, out and about, and I was just like craving something chocolatey and something chill, just a little dessert. It's been a few hours since I had these Coney Dogs, so I figured I would get some Timmy Ho's. I love these little chocolate chills. I might have had one before with you, I don't know, whipped cream and like a chocolate cold drink, but I was actually thinking of something, a situational thing that was playing on my mind from the very beginning of my, of the start of my last relationship. <laughs> and I want to know while we have a little dessert how you would handle this or how does it affect you starting a new relationship or you in a relationship <laughs> it's a little bit sexual in nature there will be reference to you know my shit my private shit and whatnot but we'll keep it pretty fairly pg but before that I got this chocolate. This is the only donuts they, the only donuts they had left. The double chocolate. Not my favorite, but it'll do. We're gonna do a whipped cream. Oh yeah, I should do that up here with you. I'm gonna do a whipped cream dunk in this donut. Is this what they mean by dunkin' donuts? I don't know. Never had a whipped cream on a donut? Me neither. This is not really my normal speed. Let's dunk it right in the cold part too. Hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> I cannot lie. All right, so let me ask you guys this. I was just remembering this from the start, in the beginning of my last, my last relationship. She lived with her, like, childhood friends in, like, a, their parents inherited a house from their grandparents, but they didn't live in it. It just, they turned it into essentially rental property. So there was, like, four females living there including her and in the very beginning stages of our relationship I used to before we even started hooking up or doing anything or even like dating I used to go and like we would get drunk and hang out and stuff and we were just I was just kind of like hanging out with her and then with them as like a friends thing and then we did start hooking up and I think at this point we were officially dating for a very short period of time. It was like, we might have been official for like a month. So we're in that stage of like, you're not seeing each other all of the time, you know, maybe a couple times a week, if that, and I lived like way on the other side of Toronto and, uh, so you're in that new spicy stage of like sending each other, uh, you know, uh, pictures and videos of yourself doing things, both each other, like her sending me stuff, me sending her stuff, sexting essentially, right? So we're doing that and she hits me up one night being like, Yo, send me a video of you, like, having a good time with yourself kind of deal. So I get it all, like, kind of set up or whatever. 
and I like, you know, you got to find your optimal lighting and your angle and whatnot and whatnot. So I get it set and I'm like, I'm in the mood, right? So I'm like pieced up. Like it's, we're, it's strong, right? The force is strong on this particular evening and, uh, everything was looking good. My camera setup was nice. So I send her like a clip and she's like, oh damn, like, you know, that's what's up. She sends me stuff or whatever too. So later on, I want to say like a few weeks later, maybe two or three weeks later, <laughs> I think we were drinking one night and she's like, just to let you know, so that you're aware of it. I showed all the girls in the house that like that video you sent me just recently. And I was like, I didn't care <laughs> because I'm just like a very open, like liberal human being. Like I just, I really don't care. <laughs> But I know for some people that might be crossing a boundary, that might be crossing a border, like almost breaking this trust of like, and like you're just, you're showing our private stuff to like your friends and especially friends that like I'm going to see. So anyways, so every time I would go over there after to hang out, I, uh, it's like I would be having a conversation with these girls who have all seen my shit at this point via the video and while you're having a conversation like there's always this distracted part of yourself thinking like are they thinking about <laughs> that video like you could be having a regular conversation with with somebody or these girl like one of these girls and in the back of their mind they're like i've seen your piece like i know what's up like you know what i mean while you're still having a regular conversation in my head i'm thinking like are they thinking that about my piece you know what i mean so it just made it funny like in my head to go hang out knowing that every girl in this room knows what's up has seen my shit I personally didn't care I wonder though if I told her like I showed all your shit that you sent me to like my guys that you would then have to hang out I wonder if, how she would have felt cause I didn't show her shit to any of my friends <laughs> but I know what it's like to be like to like have your like girls do that they're like well like they sit around and talk about the new guy that you that your girl's taking up with this new guy and they're like oh like what's he you know what's they want to know details they want to know you know all the dirt and all the good stuff the all the exciting stuff and that being one of the main things that I'm sure women like to discuss is like you know what's he got so it's understandable and dudes do it too but uh i wonder for you guys how does that like does that leave a weird taste in your mouth at, at the very start of a relationship like is that almost like a like a red flag like a like a trust breaker type deal thing? Is it tacky? Is it unsavory? Should those things be completely and totally private? If you found out or they came clean to you about that, do you care? Is it the sign of the times that we're living in? Like not much is private anymore, right? No big deal. Or is that a complete and total, just like a, 
a no go, homie. Like that's a complete and total lack of respect. You got a major problem with that, and like you're 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 done. I don't know. We're all different in that regard, but I wonder. I was thinking about it, and I wanted to run it by you guys while I have this weird little dessert treat thing, which was quite good actually. All right, so let me know. I'd be intrigued to know. I wanna, I wanna hear your opinions. I wanna weigh in. I wanna, I want you to weigh in on this topic because I just, it was intriguing to me, and I was laughing about it in my head when I, I totally forgot about it, and then I was laying in bed the other night. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, I remember that. I wonder how people feel about that. Okay, till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.